What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the perspective warp in Photoshop. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Okay, so as you can see I have Photoshop open along with this building right here. And the first thing you need to do is actually duplicate your image by pressing Ctrl J on your keyboard. As you'll see we now have two images. Make sure you're selected on the new layer we have just duplicated. From there head over to Edit and come to Perspective Warp. Now you're going to get this tool here, all you're going to do is drag it out. And this is what you should get. Uh, you don't want to drag it out over the entire image because you need to actually uh, line everything up. So as you can see this is the middle of the building here and I'm just going to line all these corners up uh, to the edge of the building and to the top of the building. As you can see I will have to go off canvas for this and it's totally fine. So just make sure you do line everything up. And you can see I'm not 100% accurate, but this will still work. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And now we need to do the other side. So again, just left click and drag. Now you'll see as we get closer, we get these blue lines. From here, just release your mouse. As you'll see, it'll connect back up. It makes everything easier. So now we just have to do this corner like that. And we also have to do this corner. As you can see, we have a bust up here. I think it is, I'm not too sure. But uh, it's kind of messing our image up. So what we actually need to do, or what I'm going to do is come before the traffic light here and bring this forward as well so it's parallel and I'm happy with that and now you can move the image around so as you'll see we can put the building up like so and um, even though we missed out this edge of the building here you'll see everything will still work out and it'll still look all natural at the end uh, as you'll see if we go too far up at the bottom it reveals the image behind so make sure you be careful with the bottom part of the image you move but with the top part, you can move uh, however you want to. Of course, if there's a plane in the sky, it could be a bit more difficult. But for now, I'm just going to keep messing with this. Okay, so I'm done. I'm going to press the check. And as you'll see, this is what we have. This is what we had before. And this is what we have now. Massive transformation. It actually looks like the building comes across like that. And it has another cut here. And then another cut across the corner. Like this middle part here is the corner of the street. You notice on the side we have white, uh, the way we get rid of that we come to the lasso tool and we're just going to come here and draw out the background like so. We're going to right click, select fill and make sure you select content aware and there select ok as you'll see everything will be filled in. I'm going to do the exact same to this side as well. There we go, I'm going to right click, select fill and ok. And I'm going to right click and deselect. As you can see down here it did mess up a bit but it's not too much to worry about because I'm sure you can just feather it down and sort everything out. But yeah that is how you use perspective in Photoshop. Important to note it's only available on Photoshop CC which is the newest version of Photoshop. If you have anything below that this will not work for you. Anyway that's it for this video I hope it has helped you and like I mentioned at the start if you like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.